Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to configure the Micro 820 PLC for use in our PID videos. For this video, we're using our Micro 820 PLC trainer and we're using Industrial Concepts PID trainer. And if you're coming to this video and you haven't watched the rest of our PID series, look down in the description. I'll have a link to it there. As we've gone through the why do we need PIDs, why other controls don't always work, and we're breaking down what is the P, what is the I, and what is the D of PID. But those videos are done in Studio 5000. So the goal of this video is to get you set up with your Micro 820 PLC so that you can follow along and understand. So in this one, we are mainly going to concentrate on the wiring that we need to do to interface our trainer with Industrial Concepts Trainer. And we're also going to test all our analog inputs, outputs, and the control to our damper valve to make sure everything's working right before we start our PID. So on each point, you have a plus and a minus, and we're going to jumper all of the minuses together. And then it's going to go along to our right set of terminal blocks, which is the zero volt of our 24 volt power supply. Then our analog plus of our prox, which is our position, our ball position, is going to go to input zero right here. Now, while these are discrete inputs, input zero through three actually also are zero to 10 volt analog inputs. Also note that there is no other wiring that has to go to the top of this. The analog is internally common. Next, we have our analog input fan control plus. And that is going to go to a dedicated analog down here, and it is V0-0. Then we're going to have our damper close plus and our damper open plus. And our damper open is going to go to output zero, and our damper close is going to go to output one. Also, the CM0 and the CM1 right here, both of those are going over to the left set of terminal blocks, which is our plus of our 24 volt power supply. So that is all the wiring that we need to do to interface these two trainers. Next, let's create a program to test all that out. So we're gonna start and connect the components workbench with a new program. And we're just gonna call this PID test. And we're gonna to go to controllers, micro 820, and we have a 2080 LC2020 20 20 QWB. We'll select it and click Add to Project. And then the one thing we need to configure is our Ethernet address, because if you download it with Obtain Address Automatically, then you're gonna wipe out the IP address of the PLC. So we're going to put it at 192.168.110 with a subnet of 255, 255, 255, zero. And that's actually gonna be our program. So let's go ahead and download this program. If you need any help downloading your program or configuring your ethernet IP or ethernet devices driver, or even your serial driver, I'll have links to it in the description. Then don't forget to switch back to run mode and let's open up our global variables. And let's widen this column out. That way we can see the descriptions, everything. But the first thing we're going to come to is our digital output. So this is IOEMDO00, which is output zero. And that should be our damper open. And right now we have it open. Number one should be our damper closed. So if we go ahead and check the logical value box, then yes, we can see that our damper is coming around to a close. We'll uncheck that box and now we can check the open. So that we'll check output zero. And yes, our damper is now opening back up. So that'll be very important for some of the later videos. We'll go ahead and uncheck that box. Next, let's go down and check out our analog. So we have our digital outputs represented by DO. And then we have DI. And while we're connected to input zero, if you scroll down a little further, then we have our analog value. And so our ball is sitting at rest and we're, I'm gonna call that 160. So that is gonna be our rest point for our scale. And in fact, remember that for the next video. 
And then down here we have our AO, which is our analog output. Now a little about the scaling of the Micro 820 analog. The inputs are 0 to 4095 is going to equal to 0 to 10 volt. Your output 0 to 4008 is going to equal 0 to 10 volt. So if we put 4008 in here, then we're going to be right at the top of this. Our analog input is now showing about 3150. We're going to call that top 3150. So remember that for our next video. That's it. We've tested our fan speed control. We've tested our sensor. We know that our damper opens and closes. So now you're ready to program your PID. So in our next video, we're going to show you how to program your PID. That way you can follow along with the rest of the series. Again, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.